I'm Tony Taylor. I'm a teacher and a parent, and I want to talk to you about something very important to me, and that's true child art. And I'm going to begin by telling a story. And this story takes place in 1950s America, and it's about a little boy called George Rodrigue, who would grow up to become a famous artist. He created the Blue Dog series of paintings, which maybe you've seen. Anyway, when this story begins, George is only eight years old, and he's struck down with polio, a de disease that affected a lot of children in America at that time. And poor little George, he had to spend month after month in bed. So his mother, who was concerned about him, bought him a paint-by-numbers set to alleviate his boredom. These were very popular at the time. And George got the set, and he eagerly opened it. And inside, he found some little paintbrushes, some tiny pots of paint, and a canvas. And on this particular canvas, there were various lines depicting shapes. And inside, each shape was a number. And it was George's job to match a colored paint with the number to make a painting. And George looked at this canvas and thought to himself, why paint like that when I've got my own ideas? So he flipped the canvas over and he began his own composition. And you might be thinking, well, why have I told you that story? What's that got to do with true child art? My answer is everything. Because the essence of true child art is that the child creates their own images. And sad to say, that's not happening very often in classrooms today. In fact, the overwhelming majority of children in schools today when they do art don't come up with their own images or ideas. They copy a design given them by the adult. Typically, it's not paint by numbers. It's some other kind of template. Perhaps the most common example of all is known as guided or directed drawing. And in this lesson, the teacher will draw line by line on the board, say a cat or a dog, and all the children are expected to follow line by line until they've made the teacher's cat or dog. And at the end of this lesson, all the children have created animals that look exactly the same. It's impossible to tell what the child thinks about the cat or the dog because they've just copied the teacher's dog. Another example is paintings inspired by the great masters. And in this lesson, the teacher will create a simplified version of a famous painting. It could be, for example, Monet's water lilies or Van Gogh's sunflowers. And then the teacher will show the children how they can make a simplified version for themselves. She will show them how to create the shapes, mix the uh, paint, and then put it onto the canvas. And again, all the images look much the same. Now, we call this kind of art template art because the children are making art from templates. And it's different from true, true child art in that in template art, there's no opportunity for the child to engage their own imagination. There's no space for the child to discover and express their own ideas. So, true child art is art where the child is in control, where they express what they think and feel. And perhaps the best way for me to explain this is to actually give you an example. And there's one right here. And I want you to take a look at this painting. This particular painting of a frog was painted by a kindergartner. And he'd just been taught how to mix the color green. And then he'd watched a little frog jumping up and down. And then he set to work. And this is the painting he came up with. Now, in my view, it's a stunning achievement. To me, it's incredibly free and expressive. Look at the brush strokes. Look at the freedom that this child has enjoyed. And the painting as a whole, it's completely balanced. To me, this frog is poised, ready for movement. In, in fact, it's alive and dynamic. To me, it looks like a dancer. And the little boy who painted this has expressed some of his joy in watching a frog jump up and down. And that's really the essence of true child art. The child gets to express what they think and feel. And one of the benefits of that is that the child has to engage their own imagination. They have problems to solve. 
they have an opportunity to express something of themselves. And that's why true child art is so important to me.